Snowy by Alice K. Flanagan. Snowflakes drift down from the sky. They land and collect on the ground. What a pretty sight. Snow falls in a forest. The word drift, drift means it's the snow is being carried slowly by the air. So it drifts slowly from the sky. Snow is frozen moisture. But how does snow form? Tiny drops of water in the air gather together and form clouds. The word moisture is another word meaning small amounts of water. It means tiny drops of water, moisture. We are going to find out how snow is formed. Because snow is formed from the tiny drops of water in the air and then it is gathered together to form the clouds. Winter clouds form in the sky. It looks like this. When it is cold, the drops of water turn into ice crystal. These crystals become too heavy to stay in the air. Then they fall as snowflakes. So the first snowfall of winter covers the ground. So ice crystal is water that freezes. And when it's too heavy to stay in the air, that's when you'll see snowflakes fall from the sky. Snowflakes are not all the same size. Most are about the size of a pencil eraser. So a pencil eraser about this size. So a snowflake is about this size. Most are about the size of a pencil eraser. But some can be bigger than a quarter. So a quarter is about this size. All right. Most snowflakes have six sides. So, snowflakes have how many sides? Six sides. No two snowflakes look the same. Snow is clear too. It just looks white when the light hits it. Sunlight bounces off the snow. Sunlight bounces off the snow. What do we need to remember about this page? Snowflakes have six sides. <clears throat> they don't look the same. And snow is actually clear. It just look white because of the sun um, bounces off on the snow. Snow usually falls during the cold winter months. Some places do not get snow at all. The temperature there is too hot for ice crystals to form. It rarely snow in hot places such as Arizona. So it doesn't rarely mean it doesn't snow um, in Arizona as much, but because occasionally you'll see it. Mm, Singapore, you'll never see snow there because it's, the temperature there is too hot. Snow acts like a blanket for the ground. It keeps plant roots safe from the wind and the cold. So the snow, when it covers the, the ground, it actually keeps the plants, the roots safe from the wind and the cold. Snow keeps burrowing animals warm and dry. Some animals, they like to dig a hole in the ground and the snow that act like a blanket for the animals. It keeps them warm and dry. A gopher stays warm by burrowing under snow. A gopher stay warm by digging under the snow. So they stay in the snow. So they dig a hole, digging a hole in the ground, 
and then their home is underground. They stay under the snow. Sometimes a snowfall can turn into a storm. This is called a blizzard. You see the picture of this blizzard. Bl the blizzard. Snow from a blizzard covers two bison. Oh my goodness! Look how they are covered <clears throat> uh, by snow. And remember the lesson that we learned: the word uh, "clung," right? Or "clean," C L I N G. Or C L I N G G C L U N G. <clears throat> the snow cover the two bison's blizzard. It's a big snowstorm. When snow melts, it fills rivers and lakes. Animals and people can then use the water. Melting snow. Drips into a stream. Another word for stream, rivers, and lakes. Okay, so the snow melts, and it fills the river and lakes. Snow can be light and fluffy, or wet and sticky. Have fun when you play in the snow. Be sure to dress in warm clothes to play in the snow. Light, it means that it's not heavy. When something is fluffy, then you can kind of fluff it, and you know how you can play with the snow, and you just、um, pick that up, and you fluff it, and it just fills the air. Fluffy, snowy.